All right, we are live. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a very special guest, actor Tony Napo, today to discuss Lie Exposed, which is produced by Leslie Hope and directed by Jerry Chicharidi. Chich Sorry, I almost got that wrong. And it's out today on VOD. Uh, we are a film education and movie review channel called Copy with Aliens at the Movies. My name is Robert Bellissimo. I'm an actor and acting teacher. I'm Steve Chambers. I'm an actor and writer. And as Robert said, we're super excited today to have our guest known for, oh my God, anything shot in Canada, really. But uh, we'll go uh, Shit's Creek, <laughs> Look, Jet, Saw 2, 4, An Absence of 3, 5, <laughs> Land of the Dead, Bad Blood, Born to be Blue, Lie Exposed, uh, 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 our national treasure, there Tony, is. Tony Napo. There hey, it man, is. Thank, thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks for having yeah, me. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so, Tony, yeah, we, uh, as Robert said, we talked to uh, Leslie Hope, producer, star of Lie Exposed. Right. Uh, you're one of the stars. And uh, 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 how, how did you get involved? Considering how it was made, it doesn't sound like a typical audition thing. I don't know. How, right. how did you get involved? Uh, Leslie just called and said, uh, will, you, will you do it? Oh, well, there's the end of that. Okay, next. <laughs> I, said, <"Yeah." laughs> I was sitting back for a long answer and uh, none of that. Yeah, uh, no. let me. Say, no, okay. and I, I love her. She was in uh, the very first, one of the first two films I did anyway, was a film called Booze Can, directed by Nicholas Campbell. Nicholas Campbell. Oh, I know that movie. Yeah, it was, it was great. You were in that? Holy shit. I yeah, I was, I was like oh. 20, 24 or something at the time. Nicholas Campbell, Da Vinci's Inquest himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, holy shit. He's my mentor. He was my mentor uh, from that point on. Uh, he sort of took me under his wing at that time. He came. Oh, that's li amazing. He lived with me and my wife for a while, and uh, oh. when he w when he went out to shoot uh, Da Vinci's, I went out and lived with him for uh, for a couple months. I just, really? just like hung out in Vancouver with him. Yeah. Uh, because he said to me, you know, Da Vinci's Italian, so uh, you should come out and be my Italian coach. And I was like, okay. That's uh, amazing. I don't know if you can tell he's Italian on the show, but uh, but it yeah, was the a, name. It was very. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was a great, great time. A fun, crazy time. That's so cool. But well, so wait, let's back up. Okay, so Nicholas Campbell, you met him just through auditioning for uh, Boost Cam. Yeah, he. Well, actually, uh, a guy named uh, Louis Ferreira, who also went by Justin Lewis for many years, uh, had come to see me in a play that uh, that I was doing. And uh, he, he passed my name on to Nick for the auditions. And uh, and then we all just fell in love with each other. That's amazing. And then yeah, wait, was fine. So, so anyway, you know, it's funny about this, this movie is that when Nick was making that movie, he didn't have any money or, or there was money issues. Mm. But he called in all his pals. You know, that movie had like Kenny Welsh and Leslie Hope, Eugene yeah. Lipinski. Uh, it had uh, David Cronenberg in it. Uh, oh. it, had a, it had a mix of a, a bunch of really amazing high profile Canadian actors. Yes. Jimmy Kidney. And then uh, and then just like real streets, Kensington Market, uh, mm -hmm. drug people and, and party people and booze can you know booze cans are uh, uh i don't know if people still call them that but they're like speakeasies in the uh, that's exactly really. what they were i was yeah. at, I, I know exactly what you're talking about especially around yeah. like yeah chinatown and kensington on college yeah totally Dinah. you just yeah. go do cocaine all night and yeah. buy uh, buy overpriced beers and yeah when the right. sun came up you regretted ever being born oh you're a vampire you had to scurry <laughs> away man a little bit a little bit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um <laughs> <laughs> so wait, okay. So that's how you met Leslie then through. Uh, yeah. So, so Nick made this movie and, and, uh, and I met Leslie at the time. Mm. I think we've been in a few things together, but never actually had a scene of anything together, but okay. we've been able to touch base over, over 30 years. And every time I see her, it's just, she's just great. You know, you can't, I mean, she's a great actor, a, yeah. but, uh, but she's also just a, a really great human being and she's always been super supportive. You know, when I met her, it was literally like my first thing and she was, she was already a big deal Yeah, and she's never stopped being a big deal. No. And so when uh, somebody like that calls you and says, Hey, I'm doing a movie and you're, you're one of the people I want in it. Yeah. There's, there's no fucking thought process there yeah, at all, yeah. but to immediately say yes. 
Oh, that's so okay. So that, that's how it happened. Were you familiar with uh, the play, the the Jeffrey Colbert play, pornography before this at all, or I wasn't. No, I wasn't at all. Um, okay, but uh, yeah, I read it, and you know, I mean, I'm an actor. I I, uh, I I I I know it was based on a play that was written a while ago, and so that sort of central yeah. uh, that central theme. Uh, or, or one of the one of the, one of the things that seems like the central theme of the art pornography debate, um, mm. you know that that's not really a fresh uh, idea, but um, no, but I like, but I don't think that's what the film is about at all. It's a, it's you know it's the journey of Leslie's character coming to grips yeah. with what she's coming to grips with, and I agree, yeah, and and uh, mm. you know doing this, doing this thing, just, uh, you know, to. Uh, to somehow control and capture this moment uh, that mm -hmm. in a in a time where she has no control over what's happening to her, you know. That's actually that should be the IMDb write up. That's actually I like that. Well, um, I'm, fucking, I'm really fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, um, but wait, now, <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, uh, I I agree. So the the the, the question of pornography versus art, uh, old, yeah, but it's. To me, that's super fascinating. And we talked to Leslie about that. And so I was interested. So your character in uh, Lie Exposed, yeah. you're kind of feeling when you see the photo is that's yeah. just, it's, it's porno. It's porno. It's, uh, yeah, whatever. I think, you know, when they cast me in it, in that role, you know, when people cast me in a role, I, ought to, I you know, I look for a few of the sort of main things I always do, you know? Sure. And, uh, and so I saw when I saw that it was like, oh, this is like not putting anybody down from Scarborough because it's my favorite place in the world. Mm. It's like everybody I grew up with, you know, mm. uh, blue collar, black and white, you know, pussy, 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 yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Like uh, not particularly uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. emotionally mature enough sure uh, or confident enough in 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 that area at all sure to have yeah. an open you know like i have a relationship with my daughter where we we discuss things quite openly and without mm -hmm. any shame or embarrassment or cool. or anything like that but uh but that's not this guy you know this guy right. is like uh no um i think uh, the first time you know, if his daughter had a period for the first time, he he would just be like <laughs> trembling and, and you know, go, here's some call, paper call your towel. Mother, call your mother. Yeah. You call your mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just said, you know, I mean, I'm just talking in generality. So no, I knew I they wanted me to bring that kind of yes, that kind of blue collar, not exactly worldly minded uh, uh, um, perspective to the table. Yes. You know, of course, because there, that's where the conflict in is in that in that sequence between Paula and myself. Yeah. Uh, it's just in that uh, what she sees versus what I see in the in the art also yes. sort of mirrors uh, how we don't you know, this this could be this could be uh, s significant in terms of her realizing she doesn't want to be with this guy anymore and this guy right. realizes he's he's starting to lose her you know if that was our movie right this would be the uh the uh, what is the inciting event the sort of yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Know, the inciting it would event be, where i'm either going to try to open my mind up and win her back or she's gonna walk maybe maybe do that thing with the photographer and uh and decide to leave depending on how i react or i don't know you know it's just uh it's, it's a it's a it's a tricky thing relationships you know where you where you where it's, yeah. a, it's like always negotiations yeah and why mm. should uh, that's a good way of putting it it is that's right it's non-stop negotiation when are we going to eat what are we going to watch what are we going to do where are we going to go yeah it's like uh which is great you know i mean i've definitely enjoyed that component of it too yeah but, yeah, but also then there's there's also the sacrificial part. It's like, well, what won't I do because uh -huh. I'm in a relationship, uh -huh. uh, which I I might have if I wasn't, or I really still uh -huh. want to, even though I am. But sure, but I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to hurt my partner. I don't want to lose my partner. So, so you compromise, you know. Oh, um, that's actually really well said. 
Yeah. I told you I'm smart. No, you are what? smart. Yeah, we're just getting <laughs> back there. Keep, you keep seeming surprised. You guys, this you is a life lesson. lesson. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I'm constantly surprised. I'm yeah. like, oh, shit. You well, it's kind of, you know, I'm question. really good at playing dumb guys. I'm really good at playing idiots. I'm really good at playing oafs and, and obnoxious. Sure. Big mouth, loud mouth guys. And, and yeah. there's, you know, there's an element to me that is that, I guess. But, uh, but, uh, well, no, but th that you're aware that that's what you're doing, or like what yeah. you were saying with the yeah. lie exposed, like that you're aware. This, you said, your words were, this guy looks at it as dot, 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 which yeah. kind of makes me like, oh, okay, so, yeah, obviously, uh, then you, uh, not your character, yeah. how, how would you look, you're, say you, Tony, are yeah. that character, yeah. and you, with your significant other, go to see uh, the art showing, and you see the vagina, yeah. To you, is this porno? How do you define the difference between art and porno? Well, you know what? What I do, what I do get about my character is not that it's it's not pornography. You know what's the difference between art and pornography? I don't I don't know at all. Uh -huh. um, I know. Uh, well, I guess it's the person who's looking at it. I, I think. I think so. This is what we were talking to yeah. Leslie. Is it? Yeah. It has to yeah. Be that. Maybe that's like, where, maybe that's where I last heard it was during that interview. But uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, and also the intention, you know, I mean, I think I, so. I mean, it's there's, a bunch. There's both of those things, you know, if, you, yeah. if you're looking at, uh, I don't want to get into any of it, but uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you, 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 you can tell in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the delivery, in the, in the medium, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, is this, is this, uh, is this meant to be art or is this meant to be something you jerk off to, or, or right. can, I guess you can jerk off to art too, but. Well, that's just it. Yeah, you could, really you, like art. You could, you could take the, <laughs> the porno picture, put it in an art gallery, and then everyone will suddenly look at it a little different. And like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, sure, of course, of course. Uh, let me. Did you know Jerry, the director, Jerry Chikoridi? Yeah, yeah, I had worked with Jerry. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Once, uh, twice, twice at least, twice at least on films. Um, the Resurrection of Tony Gittoni and uh, yep. and a thing called Wise Gal with. Uh, Alyssa Milano and oh, and uh, Alyssa Milano and uh, what's his name? Sonny Corleone, James Caan, James Caan, and, oh. and, J and Jason Gedrick, and a whole bunch Jason of Gedrick. a whole yeah. bunch of Italian guys from Toronto. You know, we call ourselves the Brasciutto Pack. The uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I think everyone, I, I mean, mix and match maybe, but uh, at some point, it's worked with Jerry, and uh, right. he's a really respected and really. Great guy and a really easy guy to work with. And um, of course, his wife was my wife in the movie. Yeah. And uh, I remember they had their their baby was on set, and and uh, it was like, uh, yeah, it was it was really great to be trusted by Jerry to you know take care of Paula and, mm -hmm. the, and their their little kid you know on set. And Paula was really stressed, and Jerry's always so calm and you know trying to trying to negotiate it all. Um, their kid still cries every time they see, uh, she sees me. Every single time. <laughs> uh, the, I remember the supermarket. <laughs> like, I don't know, <laughs> she, she must know something. I don't know. <laughs> May, maybe. Maybe that's it. It's like when, when dogs and cats suddenly look behind you. It's like, <laughs> yeah. is there a ghost? Yeah, yeah, What yeah, do you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, did you find, like, your, your personal experience working with Jerry uh, on this or, or before, is yeah. he uh, like a letter perfect director? Like you don't don't veer away, or is there time no, to no, even no. experiment? Yeah, he's he's always, uh, in my experience anyway, he's always exploring and uh, mm -hmm. and trying things. But definitely, he he really likes actors, and he uh, oh. and he really likes movies. So you know, oh, he's, right. yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he's uh, and you know he he. he sorry, I'm really uh, I really just woke up. But he, uh, okay. you know, he wants to push you to go farther. He wants to, he wants to challenge you uh, yes. while, while he is supporting you, but always That's in the cool. name, always in the name of telling the story, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on this one, you know, we, uh, I think on almost everything you work on, uh, it, you know, just tight for time. It was sure, really yeah, tight for time. So, you know, if you had a good take of something, you try something else uh, right away. Yeah. You know, you don't want to belabor anything you don't want to you don't want to not explore every possibility mm. um i thought it was good you know i mean i knew i knew i was supposed to serve sort of a humorous or, or right. be be one of the more humorous elements in a, in a script um 
but there's still got to be moments where where that uh, where that truth and reality is is grounded. I, you know, I couldn't where, agree with that more. I, f- I feel like where I where in in our story anyway, where she starts to see something she doesn't like in me, and where I start to see, yeah, uh, uh, where I where I where that uh, where that uh, what's the word? Um, uh, fuck me. Uh, anyway, where where I where I tune into it. And, okay. uh, and key into it and um, uh, and think, oh, this this is this isn't good. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. But I um, think you, you said something that's so I think is so important for actors to know. You said it exactly how I feel is to a know your piece of the puzzle. Like, mm-hmm. are you the the funny guy? Are you the villain? Are you whatever? But to, then not not just play that kind of caricature. No. Um, but at the same time, not just going to the script. Well, I'm playing the fucking truth of every scene. Like, no, you're. Yeah. Yeah. What well, are you it there depends, to fulfill? It depends on the project too. You know, I mean, hundred percent. I definitely, yeah. I definitely still like will, can show up to a set and know like this is this kind of show, and mm. uh, I'm just gonna come in and make a lot of noise and ba 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 ba. Right. You're right. Because that's kind of that's what the show is. It's kind of surface yeah. and fast and yeah um and then there's other ones that where you know there's you, you're gonna you're it's it's not gonna be that no you know it's gonna it's just gonna be me and you looking at each other in the eye and uh, yeah and uh and, and but those both the, both of those uh formats still allow for you know they can both be very comedic sure it just it just one is uh one is closer to a, a cartoon and one is closer exactly. to... Exactly. It's just different the, tones. The, right. the, the ridiculousness of life itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How many days were you there, Tony? Because they shot for like 12 days. So were you there... Right. How many days were you there, roughly? Oh, not that many. I mean, we shot... Uh, I think we did three or four days in that gallery, maybe. Maybe okay. three. Maybe three. Uh, or maybe two. I don't know. I, I, what's with all the fucking questions? Um, <laughs> Uh, it's only an interview. No, 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 uh, no. You ask us some questions. You're no, right. no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I, I don't know. I forget honestly uh, now mm. that you say it. But uh, I know we were in that gallery for a couple of days because there was a lot of stuff to cover. Sure. And then, uh, and then I think, I think we did one day, maybe two days for me and Paula's scenes. I think it was one day uh, in that house. I think it was really? one, day, one long day. Sure. But it might have been two. I don't know. I really, honestly, don't know. Um, I remember the uh, <laughs> kind of things an actor remembers. The props, you know, it's like a lot of food props. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and they and they had the best food. <laughs> you know, they went out and got <laughs> the best uh, <coughs> charcuterie. Ch- what do they call that board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the meats and cheeses. Yeah, whatever the fuck it's yeah. called. Yeah. And yeah. it was like the best Italian meats and the uh, uh, imported cheeses. And they're like, okay, go easy on that, you know, because that's all we got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I know where this is going. As soon as they call action, it's just like, I'm, you know, I'm going to eat the fuck out of this stuff. Uh, they were on lunch. It's like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Most continuity. laughs> yeah. No. Uh, um, but yeah, I think it was that. And you know, the days when we were in the gallery, I mean, the cast, everybody in this cast is fucking amazing, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And some of them yeah. I knew before, and some of, some of them I knew a little bit, and, and, uh, and some not at all. Uh, you know, Bruce Greenwood, for fuck's sake. I mean, right. how cool yeah. is that to, uh, yeah, he was you great know, in it. He is great, and just to and just to be like you know, ten feet away from him, watching yeah. him uh, deliver that speech. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, the monologue! Like, yeah, right. yeah, you know that shit is like you know when people are good on film, it's amazing. But uh, yeah. but when people are good, ten feet away from you, right? It's on fucking. It's unbelievably amazing. Yeah. You know, and so simple. I mean. That's yeah. the thing. I, you know, I always tell people, uh, you know, the craft of acting is is a craft. It's it's like the craft of carpentry, the craft of house painting. If I can see the work, you're not that good. Uh-huh. At it. Right. Yeah. You know. I buy that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if yeah. I can, if I if I can see, you know, your your glue and your joints and your, I I want to yeah. look at that and think, wow, how the fuck did he do that? You know, yeah. that that's not that that makes that art, but that, but that puts the the craftsman at a level where 
you know, I guess maybe master craftsman, but it's, but it's a level that impresses me in no, no matter what uh, people are doing, yeah. you know, no, no yeah, matter absolutely. what it is. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I know you, you went to AADA in, in New York. What, what do you think was the, um, what, what do you, what do you remember taking the most from that training? I know that's a broad question, but. No, no, it's, you know, I, I just began, uh, yeah, I remember I went into, I did a lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, ushering, because uh, I worked oh, for yeah. a theater, a yeah. theater ticket company uh, that sold tickets to Broadway and off-Broadway shows. So I would get comped into a lot of shows, and some other theaters would, would uh, the smaller theaters would say, if you come and usher, like here, I think, you, you can see the show for free. Uh, yeah. So I went to uh, a theater called the Lambs Theater and uh, Cleavon Little, uh, for, who was the sheriff in Blazing Saddles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, was in the show. It was a very simple little show. And, and he had gone to the academy. So I waited for him at the stage mm -hmm. door. I think it was a Sunday matinee. Nobody was around. And, uh, and I caught him and I said, I introduced myself and, and he said, oh, where, where are you going? And so we, we had like a nice half hour walk and wow. we talked a lot about um, movies and film and theater and, and school. And uh, he said, he said, yeah, you know, it's a, uh, it's, it's a good start acting school. It's a good start, mm. but, uh, but always be learning. You right. Know, always be learning. He, I remember him saying that to me and, and saying, uh, wishing me luck and all that kind of stuff. But I remember me at the time being an acting student, you know, I thought, oh, I'm going to graduate and then I'll be an actor. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, you're just a guy who went to acting school. A hundred percent. But, uh, and, and then I remember a teacher from back then, a guy named Jim Demonic saying to me, I can teach you everything you need to know about acting in 20 minutes, but it's going to make you 20. It's going to take you 20 years until you become an actor. Right. And, uh, and I think there's a lot of truth in mm. that too. Uh, so I had a lot, you know, the big takeaways from that program, you know, was Meisner was just listening, listening and, and, and learning, understanding what it means to be in the moment. Mm -hmm. And um, the other big takeaway, I think, which has served me really well over the years is uh, how to not sound overly Canadian uh, mm. or how to be able to control not sounding Canadian because especially in the earlier years, I think I didn't work for anybody but Americans mm -hmm. uh, just because they want, they want people who sound like them. And, mm -hmm. and I, I kind of have a very generally speaking American, you know, best for an yeah. Italian American guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. yeah. And so was there, you know, you mentioned Meisner, was there, was there a specific approach? Like, was it like, you know, was it, Meisner the whole time, or did they? Did yeah, no, they it was it was Meisner based for sure. Uh, uh, you know, the first year, all we did was fucking stare at each other for, I want to say months, and and I'm pretty sure it was months. You know, your shirt is blue, your shirt is blue, your shirt yeah, is yeah. blue, your shirt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's the only way to do it. You know, yeah. I mean, that's the only way to to actually comprehend that thing and to get good at it is just to do it and do it and do it and do it. Same as painting yeah. a house, mm. same, same as uh, playing a guitar. Mm. You know, you have to yep. fucking drill this exactly. shit. Yep. But for me, it wasn't so much the drilling, uh, you know, as practice as the drilling that, that eventually the penny dropped and I understood, Oh, this is what this is. Right. This is what this yes. is. I, I actually can't ever be inside my head while I'm right. acting or else I'm not right. acting. Uh, I always have to be on my partner and I always have to be looking to see whether, or, you know, looking for an opportunity or looking to see how far I'm getting mm -hmm. in terms of obtaining my objective mm -hmm. or, right. but whatever right. it is, it's all out. It's not mm -hmm. in. Because mm -hmm. if you're in, you're just like, you're just waiting for the other guy to stop talking. Exactly. Yeah. You're just a guy thinking. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What, um, the um, I, one one of the one of the early uh, <laughs> uh, uh, appearances you have was in Sea of Love with Pacino. 
Uh, you're, yeah. you're, you're right beside Sam Jackson there. Holy did, fuck. Well, you're like, uh, you're like well, Brian Lenahan right now. He is. <laughs> he look at the totally research. is. Look at the fucking yeah. research on this. We got guy. your whole life right here. Yeah. You know, that's <laughs> that I was, I was, uh, I was just doing backgrounds. Like that was a, right. That was a summer. I had started to develop a, a more, I, it was getting towards the end of high school and, um, and uh, going to university and, University at for me was was an op- was a fresh start to whatever degree because most of the friends that I my good friends that I grew up with went other ways you know they went they they took other paths yeah and uh, and they're all doing great but uh, I was the only guy going to university of my of or or at my university anyway of my little crew and uh, and I'd always really loved acting and movies and escaping through imagination and uh and so i was like i think i think i'm interested in this shit and um i, I forgot why i even started talking oh the the sea of uh, uh oh yeah okay <laughs> how you got it the sea of love yeah i fucking bore the shit out of myself there <laughs> um, uh yeah so sea of love so uh so yeah it was just background and it was yeah. that, it was a scene at the beginning of the movie where they're you know, there's a sting where they invite all these guys to uh, meet the right. Yankees, all these guys with outstanding warrants. Mm. And, uh, mm. and Samuel Jackson, I just happen to be the guy who was sitting beside Samuel Jackson. So it looks right. like uh, it looks like I'm in the movie, but I'm really just like I just have a really good seat to watch. Yeah, it. yeah. you got and, a perfect uh, cameo there. It's nice. And you, and, you know, we shot that for a fucking week. So I got to sit beside Samuel Jackson and he wasn't Samuel Jackson yet. He was just no. a guy. Yeah. He, was just, yeah. he was just an actor. Pre, uh, pre-Pulp Fiction and oh, all those yeah. kind of things. Yeah. Pre-everything. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and so I'll tell you, that guy, uh, he, was, he was mesmerizing. Like every time there was a break, there would be a huge gang of people around him and he'd be holding court and telling right. jokes. And he was just the funniest, uh, most charming um, talented forceful uh dynamic motherfucker you could ever meet you know and uh and it was really cool like to watch him over the years be like hey there's that guy i sat beside there, there. Yeah. oh and pulp, then all of a sudden like oh fuck sammy jackson yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, but you, you, you worked with him years later i think you had mentioned right and then you told him about that that you were yeah. there with him yeah and, yeah and he, what did he say <laughs> He, he's so fucking cool. He's like, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it's like, hey, we work together. And, uh, yeah. But the one cool thing was that uh, when uh, when Al Pacino was honored by the American Film Institute, oh uh, yeah, I saw that. They showed a yeah. clip of <laughs> Samuel Jackson uh, mm. in that movie because they had never done a movie together at that point. And so there's, they showed that little clip. And so my mom was like, hey, you're on the Al Pacino tribute. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I, so I told that to Samuel Jackson. And he, yeah. and he, he got a kick out of that. It was a big smile. and like, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. He tells, that, he tells that great story about uh, telling Pacino that Pacino was money. You know, <laughs> that's right. What, that's did right. you get to meet uh, Pacino then as well? Was he approachable? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I had met him. I met Pacino three times in my life. One time was at an art gallery while they were shooting Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross in New York. Okay. One, one yeah. time I was in a restaurant and, uh, and then this, this time on set and, and you know, when your background, you don't, you don't really, you know, it's, it's not, to, it's not ideal. You're not supposed to talk to the actors, right. you know, uh, right. but it's fucking Al Pacino. So, uh, you just you just kind of like put yourself in in the way Find of, a way <laughs> yeah in the way of him so that he'll have to at least say like excuse me <laughs> and I'm yeah, like oh yeah, yeah. oh oh hi I didn't see uh. that uh, um, but uh, but I did have a couple of words with him and and it was just like hello hello like he yeah. just got he just got a really nice warm energy yeah. off of him you know he was. Uh, the time at the art gallery that I saw him, we had a, l- a very short little chat. Um, I was lucky enough to see him on stage too in New York. But um, but I remember I remember he was shooting this uh, scene in Sea of Love, 
uh, on a on a stage in a in a, like a gymnasium thing. It was uh, right. it was actually the uh, the te- the t- Masonic Temple. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Uh, up at uh, wherever that is. Anyway, that, and uh, uh, and after Blur, yeah. and after they shot his coverage, they turned the cameras around and put them behind him shooting out at us. Uh, so he, you know, he would it would be his back and us beyond him. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I remember him turning around and as they were turning the cameras around and it felt like he was looking right at me. But of course, that's uh, my delusional delusions of grand <laughs> grandeur. Uh, and he said, uh, now it's your turn. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, my. I was like, he's talking to me. It's my he's handing the reins over to me. That's right. You know, uh, I love it. <laughs> but it was a. Uh, it was just great. You know, it's, it's just amazing. Like I said, like I said, watching Bruce Greenwood, it's just amazing watching actors act. Too. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's my favorite art form. It's the art form I understand the most. And, um, and I, I just feel like I have a, an appreciation for that, that I, that I don't really have for anything else. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well done. And, Perfect. and you, you mentioned that uh, the, the, the guy from Blazing Saddles you hung out with had said, you know, yeah. oh, sorry, one of the teachers said uh, it's going to take 20 years yeah. to become an actor, yeah. uh, you know, and, and I know that's the, the that my, Meisner was known to say that a lot as well. Good. Did You know, how has your process evolved? And now it's been well over 20 years. Uh, is that true? Did, did you find that, that, oh, that yeah. to be true? Very yeah. true. Yeah, because I, what I felt what I felt when I rounded that 20 year corner was this is how, this is how I process the world now. You know, I Mm -hmm. see things from the point of view of of an actor that that's not just now when I'm watching TV or watching a movie or a play, you know, when I'm, when I'm in the world, I I, I see objectives. I see, um, you know, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I can see I can see what's happening on 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 that plane all the time, you know. I I can I can see what people are doing. I remember one time I directed a a play in French uh, that my wife oh. at the time had written, and uh, and I had a, I had a translation of what it of what it meant, what everything meant to work right. with. But when the actors were acting, all I could see was intention. You know, because mm-hmm. I didn't right. have, I yeah, didn't yeah. have, I didn't have words to guide me. Mm-hmm. So if what was mm-hmm. happening wasn't clear without the words, uh, it was not going to be clear with the words. So, mm-hmm. so that was kind of a that was kind of a a, a learning moment and a and a tool. You know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. You you, uh, oh, you mean because you were just really tuned into their behavior as opposed to their words? Yeah, right? it was Is a gift. I, mean? I, I should yeah. say a gift, a gift, not a tool. I mean, it ends up becoming a tool, right. but it's a gift. To uh, to know that to know people have to see what you are doing, right? Um, oh yeah, right. I mean, that's that's, that's, that's a that's a that's a conversation I'm having all the time about acting. It's that it's it's just doing. It's not it's not pretending. Yeah. It's just doing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Sorry, Steve. Did you have something there? Are you <laughs> curious? Yeah, 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 just a Go stupid ahead. question. I thought of. So, because, uh, whatever. Don't piss me. Uh, we're going to end up no, fighting. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fucking that's, fight. That's why. You got to no, be careful. That. No, that's why we're doing Zoom, not live, so I can say yeah. anything. And then I can find you. Shut the I can computer. find you. I got people. I got people everywhere. <laughs> I, I believe you. I think this is one of them right here. But, uh, okay, so with everyone you've worked with, which is a lot, uh, and you, I, I'd prefer a few name names. You don't have to. Any prima yeah. donnas? Uh, I wasn't crazy about Tim Allen. <laughs> Tim Allen. What did, what did Tim, you Allen do Tim Allen do? I did a great. I, that's a movie, one of my favorite movies was called "Who Is Cletus Tout." Who is and, Cletus uh, Tout? Yeah, it's a great. Okay. It's actually Tim a really Allen. good movie. Um, but we, we made that, and it screened at the Toronto International Film Festival mm-hmm. on September twelfth, two thousand one. Oh fuck! <laughs> so. Oh. People, people's minds were elsewhere for some reason, yeah. and um, mm. it never went anywhere. But it was great. Mm. It was like fucking Richard Dreyfus, Christian Whoa. Slater, uh, Billy cool. Connolly, RuPaul. Um, what's her name? 
Portia Del Rossi was like sure. it was an amazing, oh, yeah. amazing cast and a lot of uh, a lot of locals. Sean Doyle, Chevalo was in it. Anyway, um, Louis DiBianco and I played these hitmen, like bumbling fucking idiot hitmen. Okay, uh, uh, and yeah, it was good. Anyway, and uh, and, and Tim, uh, but Allen. Tim Allen was on it, and uh, yeah, I, you know, I just it was just like. <laughs> You know, you want you when you meet a guy who's selling himself as a regular guy, rah rah rah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Home improvement. That's right. You, you, if you want him to be a regular guy, right, yeah, right. Yeah. You want it. You want him to be likable. He seems like a likable guy. Yeah. But uh, that wasn't not so my much. experience. That was not my experience. <laughs> That's a pretty classy way of putting that. All right. I'm <laughs> trying to get classier as I get older. Okay. <laughs> I can say <laughs> fuck. I can say very fuck subtle. More. I can say fuck more and people think, well, but he's still kind of right. Seems, <laughs> seems like a decent human being. Well, <laughs> there is a way I think you can get away with that more than like if you hear a kid swear, it's like, ugh, come yeah, on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and I, you know, I was, uh, yeah, I've always, my daughter started swearing when she was pretty young because sure. she, you know, <laughs> osmosis, I guess it's called. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I never, I don't understand people giving a fuck about what words people use. Sure. Uh, it, it, to me, it's just about intention. It's always about intention, you know. If, I totally agree with if, that. I totally. If you're, agree. Uh, I'm. They're just words, for fuck's sake, you know. They're just yeah. words. Yeah. No, no, no. I uh, like but that. Me and, but my daughter, you know, I would always say like, "Don't tell your mom. Don't tell your mom." <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah. She Get in trouble, her, man. She, her voice hadn't even changed that. She's like, you're a dick. And I'm like, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> She's like this you're bad, this naughty game that we were playing that we were telling, <laughs> you, telling each other dicks all the time. Repetition. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when she was really young, but, but old enough to kind of read, so maybe eight or so. And I asked her to... Uh, uh, read this audition with me and my name in the audition was dick and uh and that made her <laughs> laugh her ass off and then a couple of days later she wanted something and i said no 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 i said no and she goes you are such a guy's name from the script <laughs> <laughs> that's classic uh then i then i just gave her what she wanted i guess yeah later. sure you win this round. You win this it's round, clever. kid. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about. Uh, this is a movie you've been you, you were in that I like. <laughs> okay. About the bosses. Yeah. Uh, right. What What was this What was this experience like? Because I I this is a really good you know uh, uh, Castellano the guy that Gotti Gotti whacked. Yeah. True story. It's a really fascinating story. What What was that production like? Uh, you know what? It was kind of it was kind of cool. It's a long time ago now, but uh, yeah, this is two thousand one. So yeah, twenty years. Two thousand one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember we uh, we actually went to New York. Me and uh, Vito Rezzo. Uh, was it me and Vito? Yeah, yeah, it was me and Vito. Uh, we went to New York anyway, and um, and I, <laughs> they flew us there because they wanted the Brooklyn Bridge in the back of some scenes. I was playing. I was playing Gene Gotti. I was John yep. Gotti's brother. Brother, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And uh and there we are in New York and shooting a scene under the Brooklyn Bridge. It was awesome. And then I get back to the hotel and it was a really nice uh beautiful hotel uh in New York. I forget the name of it. And um and then I see Chaz in the lobby. Uh and I go up to him and I'm like, "Hey Chaz, how are you, man? I'm here uh I'm here doing your movie." And he looks at me and goes, "Oh yeah." A few. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. That, oh yeah. God. So I was like, uh, not a nice guy, eh? He, he was. He wasn't a Tim Allen, but <laughs> yeah, Tim but Allen. Not, not he had to admit, no one's surprised with the Tim Allen thing. Not that I know anything about Tim <laughs> Allen. I'm not surprised with the you, when, either. <laughs> when you said that, I'm more surprised about. No, the way he did it, I could see. Yeah, just that. Yeah, see I could it. see that. But <laughs> Tim Allen, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that guy looks like a dick. Yeah, all right, I like. Yeah, him. yeah, no, no. In retrospect, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go come out and shit on too many people, but uh, <laughs> uh, but but yeah, you know, right. when, guy, when guys are acting like. Uh, 
you know, when they go on talk shows and they're like, oh, I just, I'm the oh, guy yeah. you want to have a beer with. And, uh, right. And then they're and not. Try getting through his fucking security guard to have a beer with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim Allen. Well, 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 we'll mention some of your more, I mean, <clears throat> like we said, we, you know, I mean, you got 161 credits. And, yeah. I mean, yeah, we've already, you know, you got Dennis Hopper, you worked with Paul Servino, yeah. Anthony LaPaglia, Ethan Hawk. The least, yeah. the list goes on and on. What, what are what are some of your most Eugene memorable? Levy. Uh, Eugene Levy. What are what Eugene, are some of you your know, most la- memorable experiences? Last year, last year, I mean, that's the most recent. Uh, yeah. Ex- uh, great memory is, um, you know, I get the call sheet the night before, and on set it's me, Eugene Levy, and Chris Elliott. Chris Elliott. Day, yeah. For the whole day. And I was a huge right. fan. Me and my sister used to watch Chris Elliott's show "Get a Life" back in the eighties religiously. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and I, I loved, I was a Letterman fanatic. So everything Man. he did, you know, the guy under the stairs to, yeah. to Brando and bananas. Yeah. And, uh, he was just fucking brilliant. And then Eugene Levy, like I rarely skipped high school, but we would sometimes skip high school to go to my buddy's basement, drink beer and watch episodes of second city that had been taped yeah. off the television where you had to fast forward through the commercials. And we uh, watched those over and over and over and over. So when I got there that morning, it's one of the first times I ever showed up knowing my lines, first of all. Like, I actually looked at the script <laughs> before I got there. I was like, I'm not going to fuck around here. And then, um, so they bring me over to, to meet those guys. And uh, I said, listen, guys. I'm going to try, I'm going to be a pro, you know, through the rest of the day. I just to say off the top of the day, like you, you two guys taught me what funny is like in the, in the formative stages of my life. Uh, and, and I'm so excited to be here today. And Eugene goes, uh, I like this guy. <laughs> so, so then we got That's a perfect it. icebreaker. That's a perfect icebreaker, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be professional the rest of the day, but I got to say this. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, yeah, cool. I, I'm not I'm a kiss, use that. I'm not a kiss <laughs> ass at all, but these guys right. are always like fucking sure. Yeah. And so it was great, you know, and when we weren't shooting, when we weren't shooting, uh I got to talk chat with Chris about uh you know, Letterman a little bit and stuff like that. Wow. Eugene had lunch. He he came and sat down and had lunch uh, with me and a couple of folks and was really, you know, I mean, he knew I was a fan and I guess, I guess he, he liked to whatever degree what I was doing in the scene. So sure. he, he, you know, he came and joined, uh, joined the table and, 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 you know, I try not to bug people like that because, uh, you know, I respect that everybody feels that way about them. That's right. Uh, yeah. But if they're, you know, if you catch them on the right day, it was it wasn't a particularly demanding day. Uh, sure. They had some time to sit around and and chat, and and they were really uh, generous and gracious, and uh, that was a thrill. Well, that's that was a thrill. You know, working with Joey Pants last year in uh, in From the Vine uh, in Italy, shooting that, and then yes. forming a friendship with that's him. That's not that in your demo reel. Yeah. yeah, that was amazing. Uh, Bad blood. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm very good friends now with uh, Enrico Colantoni, but sure. I knew him before oh, yeah. Bad Blood, and Kim and Anthony. I'm still in touch with. Um, oh, he's you know, great. It's exciting. Like for me, it, for me, it's it's just exciting to a get to even work or be on set or or <laughs> spend any time with people whose work I admire. I don't give oh, a fuck if they're famous. You know, if they're famous, they're famous. But right. some people are famous because they're good at what they do. Other people are famous for other reasons. Right. Um, but when I get to, you know, when I get to work with an actor who, who I've been watching and admiring for years, sure. that's amazing. Yeah. And, right. and for them to validate me and, you know, whether we become friends or not, we have a, a, a good experience. You know, I, I feel like it's it's always unspoken, but it's like, Oh yeah, you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, you know what you're doing. So now we can do yeah. it. Yeah, you know because right. not everybody yeah, yeah. knows what they're doing. Not everybody knows what they're doing. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And no, um, listen, listen. Wait, ahead, uh, 
before I cut in. <laughs> no, 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 another off topic thing. Uh, yeah. uh, well, not really. Like you're okay. So you're talking about. So you're, you're clearly you're a movie fan. I'm always yeah. curious. Off the top of your head, can you name your top five favorite movies of all time? My top five. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the Godfather, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Rocky, It's a Wonderful Life. That's how you know you're Italian. If that's that's your top pretty. Five. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can't argue it's pretty with that. Pretty similar to mine, actually. <laughs> it is similar to yours. I'm I think. Not, I think yeah. it's always going to be. I don't. I. I. I don't see how though that could change ever now at this point. Yeah. No. No. Know? No. I like your answer. A because yeah. a lot of people. Uh, I like to ask that. It's sort of like. Remember if you went over to someone's house and there was like physical media, I'd I'd go, go through their DVDs and books yeah. to see what they're into, and then sure, now sure. everything everything's gone. So I don't know. Everyone's a mess. I'm good. So, I'm still yeah, right. you're I good. Just, I usually just steal their wallet. Or or <laughs> or there's that. But but and you can get to know you them look that a lot way. Of shit up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I just like to ask that. And sometimes when I ask, people are like, "Oh man, I don't know." See, I have a consistent top whatever you do, and yours are yeah. good. Uh, right. Not just my opinion; they're good. Like if anyone disagrees, they're wrong. Those are those are all good films. Uh, uh, so I feel like okay, now I can like you. Uh, what are your <laughs> What are your What are your five? My let me see if yours are Let me see if yours are good. Okay, not just because you said it. I'm also wearing it. So Rocky, you got the Rocky shirt on. Rocky, okay. French Connection, The Exorcist, Rosemary's Baby, and then either it's on the waterfront, on the waterfront, or The Manchurian Candidate. Well, you oh, make, which you gotta make discuss. a choice. You gotta make a choice on the waterfront. Yeah, right now, on the waterfront, <laughs> you made the right choice. Yeah, that's a, I that's know. a solid. I did that five. for you. I don't that's know if I made that. That's a solid five. That's solid. Thank yeah. you. I, I thought so, and r I think Roberts is exactly like yours or close. My, yeah, I, I have such a hard time with top tens, but off the top of my or top five, God, off the top of my head, probably it's yeah, it's a wonderful life. Yeah. Um, geez, this is so hard. A woman under the influence, yeah. for sure. Good one. Uh, Cass Cassavetes. Uh, probably, yeah, Godfather would be in there yeah. as well. Probably. Uh, yeah, he definitely. Yeah. Come on. You're, probably. You're, you're definitely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I've been discovering a lot What's lately. So what does that even mean? <laughs> probably. <laughs> and I'm not. No it. thanks, everyone. No. Oh, get back <laughs> so far. <laughs> uh, what else? Have you seen that Family Guy clip? The Family Guy clip where he talks about the Godfather? Uh -oh. No, no. Oh, you got to look it up. It's the funniest thing ever. They're, uh, they're, they're all, they're, they're like in a, some, for some reason they're going to die and they're in a room that's filling slowly with water and they're all okay. doing their, their, you know, deathbed confessions. And he says, I have to tell everybody something. I, I never cared for the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> and they all start going, what? What are you talking about? Like, oh, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get it. It's over it. It. And then, uh, <laughs> and eventually, he says, uh, they're asking, why? What's wrong with you? It's one of the greatest movies of all time. Right. It, 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 it just insists on itself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll watch, watch the clip. Watch the clip. The clip it, is I gotta, I gotta write that down in case I forget. The I clip did. is so amazing. It's I, so I've un underplayed down. and deadpan. And, oh, everyone and, watching, look that up. It's so good. I look. I look that up sometimes if I just feel like shit. I'm like, oh, look at that. That'll make me smile. I like that. Oh, that's wow. good. Okay. Okay. What was the last movie you saw that you blew you away? Blew me away. Um, yeah. Okay. Wait. Or that you at least went not bad. <laughs> no, you know I watch. I watch a lot of film and TV these days. A lot, Man. lot, 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 lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think I, I'll probably just forget. I'll f I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. You know, I just finished watching. I've been watching the Americans, which I love. Uh, I, I don't know that. Oh, it's a great series. It's the a really Americans. great series. Okay. Um, I've heard of that. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Is that, a, that's on Netflix, right? Uh, I don't think it's on anything right now. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Uh, but I'm sure you can find it, but it's, mm. uh, it's really good. Uh, and I watched okay. the Queen's Gambit. You know, I really mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. Uh, Ratchet. I can't think of a a movie that I've seen. I'm sure I have. I just don't remember anything. Neither I don't can remember I. Remember anything? Yeah. Yeah, I watch so many things. Like I can't. I can't retain. I know. Like the the most recent show we're watching now. I love is I've mentioned this. The Deuce. Have you heard of that? The oh, Deuce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
That's amazing. That's really good. Yeah. I love that. Okay. 70s New York. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think, you know, I think I started watching that and then I stopped at some point. I think I just, I've, I don't know if I just got lost or, or what happened. Um, yeah, but I like yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I did the same. I watched the first couple and then I gotta go back to that one as well. Yeah. Um, I, I also wanted to ask is you you've done a lot of uh, theater your whole career as well. Mm. Do you do you yeah. actively uh, seek out to do plays or do, has it just happened no. that way? Well, you know, it happened. I mean, both. And when you know, when I was younger, I just wanted to work. Period. Uh, I wanted yeah. to do anything anywhere. Uh, right. So I definitely sought uh, uh, <clears throat> sought theater then, uh, and then over time. You know, I got I had a couple of really fortunate breaks in terms of working with the right people and being in the right place at the right time, and uh, and uh, I've gotten to do a lot of a lot of really good theater, and um, and so in, in in the world of theater, I get to work at a level that's you know the the level you want to work at every time. Uh, so I only now now there's three things I look for, you know, uh, uh, for a long time, I just wanted to be a better actor, be a better actor, be a better actor. So the criteria for doing theater was, will I be a better actor for doing this? And, um, and as time's gone on, you know, you life happens and you need money. So you can't do as much <laughs> theater right. as you would like to do. Right. So you have to be a bit more strategic about choosing when you do theater. So sure. I'll, I'll I, ideally I would do a play every year, you know, January, February, March, in and around those months where it's not uh, traditionally very busy in film uh -huh. and TV. But, you know, it would have to be uh, an amazing fucking two hander with Robert De Niro to get me to do a theater in September or July. Uh, sure. Because you can just, you know, some literally I've made, you know, just by, uh, by happenstance and overtime, the same amount of money in a day or two that I would make in three months of theater. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, and so yeah. if you, if you leave your calendar open, you might be open for that day where that, you know, that giant paycheck comes in. Mm -hmm. And if not, right. you'll be open for a bunch of smaller paychecks that are still, yeah, gonna, yeah. you know, y y theater, you can't do for money, but, but if I was if I never got to do theater again, I, you know there wouldn't be a whole lot of point in doing anything. Okay, <laughs> you know, right. you know right. film right. film just generally for me at, m at my level and what I'm doing, uh, uh, just not that challenging most of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not at that top level in film and TV. I'm like I'm a working actor, but people aren't throwing projects at me with challenging roles i'm i fill in the world around the story mm -hmm. most of the time um but in theater i get to you know yeah. you, get, you get to bleed on stage and and that's that's uh, you know it cost it costs you more than you get back but sure, you also right. get you get you get back more than it costs you if, if oh, that's you, well if said no, I, I like that Absolutely, and I no, and I, I just like saw you earlier this year in oh, Jesus oh, Hop oh, Train. Oh, sorry, ultimately it pays you back more. In the moment, right. it feels like it's costing you because it speaking, fucking yeah. demands every part of you. Uh, Absolutely, but only in those periods are you growing. You know, right? So I just want Absolutely. to clarify clarify what I meant. Jesus sure. Hop the A Train was amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was so it was uh, it, it was so well done, and I'm you know because just from knowing about the kind of uh, role you've done on film and TV, sort of a uh, tough uh, blue, co blue collar guys often. And, and the guard uh, that you played, uh, this guy is, is, is ruthless, you know, and he's, uh, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's tough as nails. I actually gave it to a student of mine in my class and he, he, he just felt so guilty to even step inside this guy's <laughs> head because he's so brutal. Sure. Um, it, because you, because you, you sort of understand those rougher kind of guys. What was it a little? Was that easier to enter into for you, or was that was that a tough one? No, no. I mean, yeah. I mean, yes and no. Uh, that it's not tough for me to get into that head or that world at all. Um, 
I was raised in that world, but, uh, right. But, uh, and, and I understand the perspective, but you know, right up until yeah, I think we, yeah. we were two or three previews in and, um, and Wayne, the director, Wayne Mangesha, who's amazing, an amazing director. Uh, she came to me and, and she's like, it's not working. And, and wow. I didn't know what she meant. And, uh, and she explained what she meant, and and she said, I, "I want the audience to feel like like you might actually hit him at any given time." And um, and I started to I started to see what she wanted because I was I was playing it a bit more peacocky and a bit more, you know, I I own you, and mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm shitting on you at every opportunity, and. But right. that, but that wasn't uh, that wasn't serving the script. And Wayne uh, said to me, uh, "I want you to do two things. I want you to not, because I always am usually in the lobby when people arrive to a show. I like to see who's coming to the show, and they're like, aren't you in the show?' And I'm like, just sit down, shut up. And uh, <laughs> and Wayne said, "Don't come out and see people before the show because it com it comforts and calms me down to do that." Oh, and, I see. Uh, and uh, because, you know, I always think this is the people I'm going to be doing the show with tonight, yeah. not for, right. but with. And right. uh, I like to, I I like like to that. feel that energy and gather that. She said, don't do that. I want you to I want you to go out scared. And she said, I also mm -hmm. want you to make this personal, make this personal for you. And uh, and I did. And and she was brilliant, and it made all the difference. And and mm. and through that, I discovered this way of holding the baton, you know, because I was sort of coming in with my hands in my pocket, like, "Hey, prisoners, fuck you!" Right. And, but instead, she she, you know, what the, what she unlocked for me was, I want this guy to step out of line. I want to crack his fucking head open with this bat baton. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's like, uh, those guys you see over and over on, you know, uh, uh, cell phone videos, uh, assaulting, assaulting criminals, right? Uh, police, right. uh, I mean, brutally, brutally assaulting criminals. There's something, right. something has happened to them or the, or so there's some in belief instilled in them where, you know, I'm not going to kill you, but give me any any yeah. razor thin justification and I will split your fucking head. Right. right. And, uh, and that's, uh, I mean, it's not something I like in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, but I don't mind depicting, you know, I don't mind depicting sexists or racists or any ist, as long as the message of what the project is, is yeah. not pro that. Yeah. Right. You know, of course. Ism. Uh, right. Um, because I know I'm like a alpha male looking, you know, brood, brutish, brutal, crass, uh, all those things, you know. So right. I, I can phys physically embody the stereotype. And then, sure. uh, but then the responsibility is to understand, you know, not judge, but understand why, why is this guy such an asshole? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you definitely got there because I, I definitely felt that from watching it, <laughs> that you, you were going to go to blows with him at any, any moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was, it was, uh, and, and it was like, you know, it felt like, it felt like being on drugs kind of like just going out and just being like vibrating, you know, the nights when right. it was the best, it felt like I was on drugs. It felt like when I used to feel like when I was on drugs because I was mm -hmm. just vibrating and mm -hmm. and I didn't, and, you know. And there's there's one moment where I would go, uh, I forget what the line was, but it was like something I was like, "Fuck!" Uh, and my teeth would always pop out of my mouth every night. Um, <laughs> oh God! But not out onto the stage, but they would, they would pop out of their spot. And I right. and I told uh, Darren Herbert, my scene partner, I was like, <laughs> "This every night on this line, my teeth. One night, my teeth are gonna fall out." And uh, they never did, but uh, but we had, uh, <laughs> you know, the whole reason I did that play was I was walking down the street one day and I bumped into Darren Herbert, and I'm a huge fan of him, his, him, and uh, 
And I said, what are you doing? And he was just down at Soul Pepper auditioning people for Jesus Hop the A-Train. Uh-huh. And he said, oh, your name came up. I was talking to Wayne. And I was like, really? When are you doing this? And it was like February, March or something like that. And so I just called Wayne and I said, hey, can I be in it? And uh, she did what she had to do. And, and then I was in it. Uh, wow. And I just, I just wanted the opportunity to work with Darren. And then, you know, we had a... Uh, uh, Javier and uh, Diana uh, were were also in it, and they're just and, oh, and Greg Greg Prest, I almost forgot. Uh, just a fucking amazing cast, and Wayne was inspired in her direction, and uh, I think it was maybe I think it was the first show she programmed for Soul Pepper, I think, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Oh. Um, and the audiences loved it, and we all loved it. Uh, <clears throat> It, it was a it was a gift it was a gift right yeah no absolutely i i i really enjoyed it myself um what <clears throat> is the uh, you know there's that age old debate whether uh film acting is different than theater theater acting do you do you do anything different on stage other than voice of course but or do you think depends. it's all the same it just depends I, I, you know there's a uh there's a there's a there's more space to fill when you're on stage, generally, but uh, but I don't think it's all that different. It's it's it may be slightly different, but you know, right. James Cagney said, uh, you know, hit your mark, look the other fella in the eye, and tell the truth. Right, yeah. I love that. And, and I feel like I feel like Mamet's right when he said, it's it's not <laughs> there's true acting and there's false. Right. Mm-hmm. That's it. True or false. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's there's it's not stage versus film or, mm-hmm. or or you know, whatever whatever versus whatever. It's mm-hmm. like I either believe yeah. you or I don't. And yeah. uh, and so when I say I don't, there's like uh, uh when it, was some of the things you have to consider in terms of just telling the truth are the tone of whatever you're doing and the uh and the medium. You know, I mean, my work's going to be, I know what it looks like when my work is filtered through a video camera or filtered through a film camera or filtered through a digital camera or filtered through the air in a theater. You know, I know there's like different frequencies, you know, and it's about, I think it's about your energy more than volume. It's about where your focus, how you focus and direct your energy and yeah. And movement versus exactly. stillness is important, right. you know? Yeah. Uh, film is much more still. But but in terms of what you're doing from the inside and intentions and and uh, and objectives and tactics and active verbs, um, it's all the same. The stuff yeah. that's important is all the same. It's just it's just modulation, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's well said. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree for sure. Um did you? Sorry, did you have another question there, Steve? I had, I had a couple more, but it, I, I don't want to hog it. <laughs> they're 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 utterly insane questions, so don't worry. No, go ahead. Throw us insane one in there. All right. Hey, so you ever see a ghost? <laughs> um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. You, do you believe in ghosts? Only in the theater. <laughs> no, I mean I've been. Uh, yeah, I've been scared shitless. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I believe. I believe there's stuff for sure. Yeah. You know, I believe there's other life. I believe there's life in the universe somewhere. I believe there's probably some kind of force that did something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't believe, uh, I don't believe in religious gods, but no, but, th- but I do believe in something. I just don't know what it is. Uh, Ghosts, okay. uh, I mean, there's there's shit we don't understand. Like, I'm not going to pretend. I'm going to say it's stupid. It's stupid to believe in ghosts. But, but what the fuck is a ghost? I don't know. Well, that's the thing. See, like, I've always thought, like, either you believe in ghosts or you don't. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And then I'm like, I don't know. But I, I, I'm more like you now. I'm like, well, there's definitely something going on. There's something. There's something. I don't know what it is. Well, we, shit we, that scares me. We identify... Uh, we it feels like humanity only identifies as anything else that is them, you know. Hundred percent. There can't be aliens because 
if there, but if there are, they're like little men, you know? Right. God, you know, Jesus made man in his image. Well, right. It just makes it easier to understand and comprehend. Or well, that's just it. Or, like every alien movie, like why do they always have digits on their, like how come if they're uh-huh. just versions of us? Like we don't, yeah. who knows? Like look at an oyster. That's a fucking yeah. alien. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ask because are you, okay, as a film fan, uh, and yeah. you gave me your top five, are you then, would you say, is there a genre you're drawn to? Like, uh, 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 do you know what I mean? Like, are you yeah. a horror movie fan? No, or are you? No, I'm like, I'm pretty simple. I'm a, I, I like human stories, you know, even, yeah. e- even the bigger movies, you mm. know, Rocky. I like Rocky, but I don't like it because it's a boxing story or a love story. It's a very human story uh, i agree I-, I love that movie yeah. so much oh so do i oh my god yeah it's beautiful. i mean i like Every- all of them i mean the originals amazing yeah. but i enjoy how it turns into a comic book nonetheless yeah, yeah um, for sure but for sure. yeah no i agree i think it's the human element and i don't look at it you're right like i think it transcends a, a sports movie totally something yeah. like the great films and so if i are- see if i see a, a rosemary's baby i like that movie not because it's a horror movie, same, just well, like, because it's a good movie, you know. Oh, I'm Fight exactly Club, Fight that Club, one. Fight Club. Uh, that's a great, great one. fucking movie. Hundred yeah. percent. Yes, there's 100%. no genre, but but I like smart writing and I like nuanced direction. Same here. And, and more and more, I really fucking like art direction and set design and shit. Sure. You know, I like I like a a really complete world. Oh, so do I. I mean, you can you. you you said it best when you were talking about like if you can see using your house analogy. If I can notice, if I'm really aware of the the building of it, like it didn't really necessarily work. Opposed yeah. to me just going, "Oh wow, how'd you do that?" And I find that with film, right? Like if I'm when people go, "Oh, did you see the editing?" To me, I'm like, "Well, maybe it didn't work." <laughs> Unless it's something okay, okay, like a yeah. like a uh, breathless, like that's uh, okay. But yeah. generally, no, I like if it's good, it's good. Uh, and yeah. then it's only in hindsight I'm like, well, clearly they had good art direction. They had like a yeah. team. Like it's not just an actor yeah. or director. It's just this whole yeah. world that comes to life, yeah. regardless yeah. of genre. But yeah. anyway, that's it. Ghosts. I'm done. All right, Robert. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just curious. <laughs> Trying to top that, Robert. Yeah. Uh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> to shit. Top the ghost question. What's your religion? No, I won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> What's your religion? Uh, I was I was going to because I know that I know that you were teaching at uh, some on camera classes. Uh, what what brought you yeah. to want to do that? And yeah. and have you moved over to do it on Zoom now, like a lot of uh, teachers right. have been doing, or are you just yeah. putting it on hold? No, I've always wanted to teach. You know, I I always I I you know for the last couple decades anyway, uh, uh, I've gotten better and better as an actor, and I I know. I know I'm a really good fucking actor. Um, but I always thought I might be a great teacher. You know, I don't know if I'll ever sure. be a great actor. That's the goal. Uh, sure. But but I think I can be a great teacher. And 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 I, uh, I uh, you know, in my mind, I was thinking, when I hit my 50s, I'll do it. When I hit my 50s, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And I had, uh, I'd been asked to teach um, <clears throat> over at, uh, what's that place called? At Bathurst and... Randolph. Oh, oh yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. But I work too fucking much as an actor. So, you know, it, I, it's not fair to students. It's not fair to the to sure. schools yeah. to, to hire somebody right. like me. So yeah. I pro- approach this woman, Sue Edworthy, who's an administrator and has a lot of administrative experience. And I said, listen, uh, I'm interested in teaching classes. I think with my name and my experience, that, that might draw some people. I don't really want to charge that much money, just enough to cover what we're doing for the most part, and um, and cigarette money, and yeah. uh, and uh, and I said I'll I'll split it with you fifty fifty. You do everything, and I'll just show up and teach, and uh, and she said yeah, and uh, so we've had I think four or five sessions now. Whenever I have a couple of, I like to do uh, uh, consecutive weeks, like do one week of work have a week and then do it the second day. So there's mm-hmm. one day spread out over two weekends. Um, right. And it's worked out really good. The format's really good. Salvatore Antonio helped me come up with the format. And um, yeah, I fucking love it. I love it. I love teaching. I, I was I was at U of T for two years before 
I even considered acting, uh, thinking I was going to be an English teacher. That was really? that was my that was my goal. And um, a woman, a professor at the school, a woman named Kathy Smith, took me into her office one day and had a conversation with me, uh, which changed my life. She just asked me what I'm going to do with my life. I told her and. She said, uh, well, I'll tell you something I'm only ever going to, I've only ever told one other person in my life, but if you study acting, uh, I think you could probably make a living doing this for the rest of your life. And that, that conversation changed my life. And the one other person she had told that to, uh, before me was Enrico Colantoni, oh, which wow. is fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. Well, yeah. What did you uh, study at USC? I was, I was, uh, studied English. I was an English. Oh, it was English. Okay. Wow. Yeah. 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 Very uh, cool. And now I haven't read a book in like seven fucking years. <laughs> nice. Seven years. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I don't know. I don't know. You yeah, got to get back. Years. Now. You, you got to be, you gotta you gotta be no, 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 no. If you haven't read a book in seven years, at this point, you should be proud of that. Like now you got to see how long <laughs> you can go. That's pretty good. Seven <laughs> years. I don't, I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Is there is there a specific <laughs> rope with, the, with your classes, or what, what are you what are you trying to get to communicate to the students? Uh, well, it depends on the student. You know, I mean, the, the, the thrust of the classes is auditioning. It's an audition right. class, on camera auditioning. So I just try and uh, it gives them whatever insights I have into that process, and then we do a lot of practical work. You know, you do an audition, we critique the audition, uh, you do it again. Um, okay. but it's been, it's been really, uh, it's been really, uh, well received and I've had some, you know, pretty accomplished peers take the class mm -hmm. as well as people, uh, who are younger and, and towards more towards the beginning of their careers. Mm -hmm. And, um, everyone, everyone's gotten something out of it. And I, and some people came in not really needing it to be honest. Uh, right. but, uh, but I, I tribute to their desire to always be learning. And, uh, and they did get something out of it. Um, uh, it just, you know, I mean, if you're, uh, the, the closer you are, the less you, the less I have to offer you. Uh, but, but I'll, but I offer what I can. And usually it, it, it's just maybe just that one little thing they've been looking for or, uh, nobody's told me it was a complete waste of fucking time yet. So, <laughs> so <there's laughs> well, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, with auditioning, is it? Are you? What do, can you can you talk a little bit about what specifically are you telling them to really go for it? Because these people want to see a finished performance. Well, or I mean, is it uh, no, you know what I what I generally always say to them is uh, auditioning is your job, right? You know? Don't okay. go. Don't go to the audition thinking this is a way to get a job. That is your fucking job. Right. So go go in and do your job. If you get booked because of cool. it, great. But yeah. if not, you still did a good audition, and you're going to get another right. audition. I like that way. Actually, that's yeah. pretty cool. I, I think yeah, it's. Absolutely. I think it's absolutely necessary because. Yeah. Well, you know, two things. Like when you really want something badly, you're never gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> because it just I, yeah, it yeah, just yeah, reads. Yeah. It's always the case. You know, it just yeah. reads. Yeah, yeah. And and whenever you whenever you go in, uh, a second thing of the things I sort of push on them is uh, is uh, trying to figure out what they want and give that to them is a huge mistake because most of the time they don't really right. know what they want. Exactly. You know, they have they have yes. an idea of what they want. Yeah, but but you can't anticipate that. You have to you nah. have to go yeah. in the room and tell them this is what you fucking want. Right. You know, this this you know yeah. I dare I dare you not to cast me. Yeah. Right. Without Take saying control those of words. It. Yeah. Well, that was like that. John and, John C. Riley had that thing he was saying in an interview when he auditioned. It would be him looking at the guys behind the table, going, "Do I want to work with you? Yeah. I'm interviewing yeah. you while I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. Oh, but in Canada, yeah. we don't have those options. <laughs> no, exactly. no, we don't. Yeah. Speaking of Canada, really quick. Do yeah, you ten know, bucks. I'll work. For do you know? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Eight. Do you know where anyone can find uh, Booze Can the movie? I don't know. No. no Fuck. Because I saw that on VHS like a long, long time ago. It was like a huge hit in LA for for. Oh, was months, it? Like in in DVD rentals and stuff. <laughs> That's and, so cool. 
Yeah. That's the one. Was that the Bruce Campbell one you mentioned? Nick Campbell, yeah. Nick, Nick Sorry, Nick Campbell, Campbell and, and Leslie yeah, yeah. Hope. I yeah. gotta look that one up. Yeah. Maybe yeah, 90, 90, like nine, early 90s, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I want to see that. Like 94 or something. Like 94, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. I had just got married, I, I remember. I just had one last question, but did you have yeah. another question there, Steve? <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, well, I think the ghost one. Nothing was, related uh, to supernatural. <laughs> not offhand. Like, no, nah, no. Nah. No. Nah. <gasps> okay. You're lucky, Steve. Well, I, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Uh, you, know, we, you know, we've 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 touched a lot on acting and and advice for actors. But is, is there, you know, it's one thing to become an actor, right? Uh, you know, and one thing to go to acting school and audition yeah. for a while. But how? Mm -hmm. What What would your advice? You know, you've been in this industry for over thirty years. What What would yeah. you? What would your advice be to someone to 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 hang in there for the long run and to have a sustainable career? Yeah, I mean, a just commit to it. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't expect to be doing well when I was young. You know, I, I, that didn't seem realistic. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have that, you know, it wasn't like Brad Pitt good looking or, or, or even Matt Dillon good looking, you know, I was just like, I was a character guy and there's, mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 I was not Prince Hamlet nor was meant to be. Uh, but then as I got older, the parts, you know, uh, parts got better and better. Mm -hmm. Um, Hold on. Tell me what I started talking about again. Uh, uh, the key to longevity. Oh, you yeah. said first commit yeah. to it. Yeah. Uh, so as I, get, as I get older and I get better, the parts get better. You know, I always knew this was going to be a long game for me. Um, so, so I think that. I, I think part of it is like don't – you don't have to give yourself a time limit. I mean, you have to, you have to support yourself, but, but – uh, pursuing a career and pursuing a uh the craft you know it's that's the deal everyone has to make with themselves you know am i am i do i want to just do this or do i want to get paid to do this you know right uh and if you're not getting paid nothing can stop you from continuing to do it um but but when you are getting paid just always be doing something you know i i, I say that to my students too do something every single day to become a better actor. And that could just be reading a play or reading a script or watching a play or watching a film or watching television or reading biographies on, uh, yeah, on, on, on artists that you relate to mm -hmm. taking voice classes or, or movement classes or, uh, whatever the fuck you do, whatever mm -hmm. it is you do, mm -hmm. but do right. something every day because mm -hmm. You, you know, uh, I say this to my students too. Nobody's waiting for you to get here. Yeah. People yeah. aren't just sitting around waiting for you. Nobody gives a shit whether you succeed or whether you even arrive. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all on you. And if you're mm -hmm. not going to work hard, there's a thousand other people who are going to work hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have, I don't know a lot of people who, who have who've been super successful who haven't worked hard. Mm -hmm. um, right. So you have to uh, you have to commit to it. You have to give it the time and the energy and the focus. A to be good at it, and but B, you know, just for opportunity to find you. Mm -hmm. Well said. Yeah. 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 That I like that. That's <laughs> I'll That's take good. that away from myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very very good. How well, long have we been talking? It's like eight hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just seven and a half. We're, seven. we're, we're letting you go now. We're good. Yeah, it's over. Okay, great. So uh, I just want, I, I'd like to thank number one, our cigarette sponsor, uh, and, <laughs> and, 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 and and Tony. Honestly, that it was so cool to meet you. For me, uh, a lot yeah, of fun talking to you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank this you is so a lot much. of fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so you much. Guys, you guys and are great. My expose is uh, is out today. Uh, yeah, all VOD. across the states. Yeah, 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 all across the states. On it's on VOD. It's also on iTunes, uh, Canada, and in the states. And it's on it's on Crave. Crave. Right, it's on Crave. Crave. Yeah. And YouTube. You can also rent and buy it. Yeah. Uh, as I just, well. I believe. Take your word for it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
There it's okay. Go. We got. I, be, I could barely find this fucking interview. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sent me a link. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Thank God we did. <laughs> well, thanks again, and and for those of you watching, I see Jim Canale uh, left a comment. Hello, Jim. A Toronto actor watching. Thank, thank yep. you for watching, everyone. And uh, if you if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right of where the description box is. We do uh, one live video talk a week, and we do three uh, film review uh, videos a week as well. Uh, and then Thursday we are uh, doing an, an underrated Hitchcock uh, interview yep. talk with. Uh, fellow movie YouTuber Aaron Pin at uh, 10.30 on the EDT. <laughs> there, goes, there goes my uh, promo there. <laughs> no, I, was, I, was, I couldn't stop. I couldn't take my eyes off you. And we'd like to thank Monster Energy Drink. Yes. Uh, hey, and the Stones and the Rolling Stones and, there as and well. The, and Rocky and Shirts and Rocky everywhere. Rocky. Everyone, pay us. <laughs> Woo. And my okay. new light. See my new light? And your new light. We'd like to thank your new light. Oh, the ring light oh, you got nice. there. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, you said it was round. Yeah. Pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thanks again, Tony. Thank you, okay. Steve. And uh, all right. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, see everyone next time. Ciao. Bye. Take care.